I was like, it's not here. Uh, this, is, this is the whole idea of like, it's supposed to be like Ileka, but if you go around, there's like no Ileka here. Now, the big question is, is he really unquackable? That's the true question here tonight. Not whether or not there's a comedy show, but is this man the unquackable? <laughs> As my uncle, and I'm here to support him. The show has already happened. You were on stage, you're a success, people loved you, you know, all your stuff. It was great. You had an awesome time you're walking off stage and you're having a good night. So you've already seen it happen, now just let it happen in your life. We are here to support you, like a young quarterball. He's gonna kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Ladies and gentlemen, now for the man of the hour, Hunganjera of incredible note, a nerd all the way from DHPS, a loser, because he's not very good at sports. This man could steal your girlfriend or her wallet. This man is an engineer by day, a comic by night, and the one who might be sleeping with your wife in the morning. Please give it up. Are you ready for Mr. Unquantable, Eleka? Hello. How you guys doing? What are you now? Now two. Tam nigi two. Oh my God! I feel like I'm doing this show inside FNB. The whole of Shiwambo speaking is here. Oh my goodness, man. I'm, I'm so happy to see you guys, man. I'm so happy. Shashi? Because just an hour, a few minutes ago, honestly, I didn't know how I was going to pay my rent. Thank you, God. I'm going to pay two months in advance. Let's go. There are no refunds. Chill. Refund is what? That's why, that's how you do it, huh? You sell the tickets via compute ticket. So before the show starts, huh, you're already paid. You can just stand here and talk. Or relax, I can. No, it's all good, man. But I'm very happy to see you guys, man. You guys could have been anywhere, man. You guys could have been, I don't know what, uh, playing 30 seconds or bolstering. Or maybe, or... It's a thing now. How was, how was the dog's wedding, man? I see you guys all yellow. The dog got married, it rained. <laughs> Mem. <laughs> what else are we to? Ay, 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 ay. I don't know, we have to maybe start calling him Mr. The Dog now. It rained, which is good. It's good for, good for the country, rain is nice, but it's bad for the Brazilian, man. Makes it cuckoo, then it sticks out. But no, 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 man. I'm, I'm happy to see you guys, man. It's fantastic. Uh, listen, I, um, I recently became famous. Yeah, yeah. Which is awesome, man. The only problem in Namibia is that nobody cares. No, nobody cares. If you're famous in Namibia, famous is what? And the reason behind that is that because in Namibia, you get the fame without the fortune. You see the problem? So... In a greater scheme of things, as far as celebrities are concerned, as a comedian, you are somewhere between the ghetto and dollar six. In terms of relevance, so it's... No, no, but before that, I have to, quick, I have to do a few disclaimers. Firstly, um, my English is, is, is good, but it's limited. 
Yeah, it's, it's not my fault. I went to school during a time when John Mutora was the Minister of Basic Education. <laughs> so, it's going to get finished sometimes, and I'll replace it with Chua Mogachona, but I'll try. I'll try to mix it, okay. Second thing is, I'm trying to shoot a movie, man, like a DVD. So, I want to put all my work together, so I might repeat a few things. Is that okay with you guys? There are no refunds. Either way, just a little bit, man. I have to, because people keep on asking me, yeah, please send us clips, but I don't have them, man. So, so that's what's going to happen. So, I digress. Let me go, Chingris, how you put it in? <laughs> now I'm back. Yes, so I became famous, right? But nobody cares, and nobody cares less than the car ladies at the service station. You know the one in the shop? Nobody cares less than that person. They know who you are. If the service station shop is empty, it's cool. You can do your, you can you buy stuff. But as soon as the service station is full and you come in there, you're trying to buy $10 electricity, you give her the car sleepy. Ileka, did you say $10 electricity? <laughs> Nobody needs to know that. I, I gave you ten dollars. Look, I sleepy. How much do you think I want now? Times are hard. I think the electricity situation is still okay. The worst is like when you come there, holding a baby, you know, on the way home. Side, Nacha. No, I'm gonna get some condoms because safety first, most. All right. So you come there discreetly, Nacha, your auntie. Can I please have a packet of condoms? Did you say a packet of condoms? Now it's all messed up because now everybody heard. Now it's like you're buying condoms. So you have to be big. Yeah, yeah. Extra large. Actually, make them six packets. Yeah. Because the baby goof are gomos. Now you get home. Chinese is a bit too big. It's dangling. Baby's like, oh, here in JDDK, it's supposed to be. So I know, baby, let's switch off the lights. <laughs> Nobody cares, man. Nobody cares, nobody cares. Uh, but the cool thing about service stations, though, is that, like, you know, that's where you see Nakucha, black and white people. We are not the same, uh, we are similar, but we are not the same. We are different. And you see it at the service station. At the service station, now, uh, Eka Lani will, like, rock up with, like, a, a Datsun from 1977. It's rusted, it's falling apart. He comes in, and say, yeah, Makum fall. Yeah. Goes off. Mr. B.E. Tenderpreneur rocks up in the range. What's that? You know when they do the whole, yeah, 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 the fucking, it's in the pass. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trauma 20. <laughs> Put in 20, how? How far will 20 bucks take you, boss? You switch on the aircon, it's done. No way, man. Nah, 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 nah. But you know, that's the cool thing about Namibia, though. You get to meet everybody. Everybody's like everywhere. You know, you can, you can, mini, you can meet the Minister of Finance at Nando's. They're just there. You, you, you can meet any... Like, I go to the same church as the president. I don't know anywhere else in the world if you can do that. Like, you just you go to the same church. That the president is there. You are here. It's cool. The only problem is that whenever there's, like, a national issue, the sermon always changes a little bit. Talking directly to the president. Please, God... Give our president the guidance and strength <laughs> to deal with this air, boys. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But then occasionally, you know, the president has a birthday. Everybody gets cake at a church. It's cool. And then it's just that towards the end, you know, where everybody's done, you know, towards the end of the whole service. It's always like, yeah, the pastor comes on, yes. And then he put our and uh, God bless the first family. And I'm like, Ech and me? Just the first family alone. And me? No, you must say, God bless the first family in Aireka or something. Just God bless the first family. I, no one should feel left out. I felt left out. Ah, but those guys are awesome. Man. I don't know where they hang out. They're inviting Angano, but I don't think they are here. I told them they should come. They should buy tickets. Yeah. Ah, no, it's a thing, man. No. I was talking about service stations, man. The thing is that, did you guys know that, actually everybody knows that women are the safest drivers? They are, like, statistically, it's there. No, no, it's, it's true. Women are involved, like, in fewer accidents than men. It's very, it's, it's, it's there. But the thing that they don't tell you, man, about that is that the women who are, who get involved in accidents, there's, like, like a st statistics that they never reveal. 
that very few women do get into accidents, but the ones that do, it has been found that they are always wearing a weave. The problem is that Johanna Benson fringe, it messes up your blind spots. You can't turn and suddenly into a taste, it's bad. Oh, see, it's true. So you, the girls with natural hair, you guys live longer. Yes, it's true, it's true. But we like women in Namibia, don't we? We do. Like, we don't do stuff without women. Like, like we are not about, like, you know, these things, just a bunch of dudes. People won't even show up. Guys are always asking, you know, yeah, so we are coming to your show, yeah. Um, and I'm like, yeah, no, the nonas are here. But how many nonas? How many are we talking here? We don't want, like, projections. We want current. We don't do stuff without women. We, it's, it's just how we are. But... Sometimes we do a little crazy thing and we get all excited and we decide ah, that we get the women around and it's cool. Then we make a CEO of a company. Mem. Zhezh. The problem with women who are in power is that uh, women change when they go into meetings. Because before the meeting, it's all right. Okay, no, no, no. Listen, uh, so I'll hook you up uh, uh, with uh, um, being Mary Jane. Uh, uh, Orange is the new black. I'll download everything and I'll hook it up. No, it's cool. Not yet. Okay. In the meeting, as soon as you sit down, uh, Mr. Eleka, can you please explain to the board why your report is late? <laughs> Me, I thought we were friends. I thought we were friends. It's late because I was hanging out with you. <laughs> Introducing me to your kids. We're having prizes. That's why it's late. No, man. Women with power, my goodness. But we like, we like, we like women. I, I personally, I like, I like girls. But I'd like to maybe just put it out there to you ladies now, Cha. My Nona Entertainment Fund has been revised and does no, not cater any longer buying drinks for women. No. Uh -huh. We are not buying girls drinks anymore. Because it's always like this. So whenever you ask a girl, yeah, so sister, what are you drinking? Firstly, she always picks the most expensive drink, something that she's never had, she can't even pronounce the name. Strawberry Dakiriri. Do you mean a Dakiri? Yes, that one. But I'm like, sister, you're drinking Hunters. It's not mine. No, yeah, I'm not buying drinks for girls anymore, man. But you guys are, you guys are like, ah, girls or children. Eh? Ah, yeah. It's crazy with girls, man. I don't know why, I don't know what, what it is about me, why girls think like I can buy them stuff, like pay their rent, buy them weaves, I don't know why people think. Listen, sister, the best I can do, ne, is send you like a $10 recharge so that you can call somebody who can. Yeah, not me, girl. Sometimes I remember I was like in a misunderstanding one time, because me, I understand the game also. It's Vintuk here, we know. Yeah, or Vintuk is rough here. So I know the game. So actually, I was in, you know, that place, that other club that we don't mention, the small, tiny one, that one. Fashion. Yeah. Those got one dollar shooters. Yes, we're there. It was cool. So, and, I, and I'm talking to this girl, and it's nice, man. I'm like, no, baby, you know, it's too loud here, man. Let's go to the car so we can discuss our future. <laughs> so we're in the car, and, you know, we're chilling, chilling, and suddenly she's like, yeah, no, I just, I don't know, man. I just feel so comfortable around you. I, like, I, that's, I don't normally do this, now. I wouldn't ask, but I just feel so comfortable. That's, just to ask you now, child, okay, the thing is that uh, my sister went to the north uh, and she didn't pay rent, so I just need like 400 uh, so that I can cover. Me, I'm like, hey, sister, oh, chirine. I also just feel so comfortable around you, chirine. I just feel, no, I feel now, child, we are just understanding each other. And just because I feel so comfortable, now, I also just maybe like to let you know now, child, oh, chiri, for me, it has been like three weeks since I... She's like, oh my God, like, I'm not that kind of girl. Me, I'm like, I didn't say you were. I just thought that you're going to tell me your problems, huh? I tell you my problems, huh? And together, we find a solution. Yeah. I didn't say anything. I didn't say, Naguta, you should do what, what, no. She left. Yeah. But it's all right. It's Vintuk, I know how it works here. Kachipuga. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it, man. People always come to, I don't know, usually on a free of mind date, like there's always people on dates. Anybody on a date here? Hey. You guys. Are you guys together? 
even married yo to that guy why do you look so serious man why you smile man? that she beat you you must relax man you're welcome to the show it's good don't don't panic there are always people there are always people out here on dates some of them are usually on date with other people's girlfriends it's okay hey Franz, what's up man you good thanks for the money man I should shake all your hands on the way out, Nacha. Oh! Because I'm really buried with money also. We're going to finish it all. Oh, but wait, I digress. Where was I? Unona, Movenduka. But me, I'm like, really? Me, I'm honest. You know, with the girls. Me, I say, okay, no, listen, it's been Tuka. Okay, the thing is that there's one thing that you need to know is guys, quick advice. There's one rule that you need to apply when you're dealing with women. And that rule is that, ah, the lighter the skin, the darker the past. The lighter the skin, the darker the past, Baba. Yeah. You have to remember that. Uh, no, I'm telling, no, I'll tell you guys right now. Listen. Yellow bones. Every yellow bone has seen the inside of a GTI. They have. No, no, no. The lighter the skin, the darker the past. The problem, man, eh, with that thing is that uh, a lot of guys are like me. We suffer from YBS. That's yellow bone syndrome. <laughs> yellow bone syndrome uh, is like you, you, you wake up, there's a missed call on the phone. She just gave a missed call. Already you're in the car, you're at the door, not your baby, or you're trying to call me. <laughs> no, no, I just missed calling. No, I brought flowers and chocolate. So me understand my situation. So I told baby now, listen, me, me understand that. So if like you meet a champion somewhere and no more pharaohs and things, and he wants, you know, just let me know. Yeah, I don't, I don't have a problem. Just let me know what's up. So one day she comes and like, yeah, no, Ireka, I met this guy. He says like, you know, he wants to take me to Dubai. Can I go? I said no. I said no. Why can't I go to Dubai? I like no sister. Which continent is Dubai? <laughs> no, me, I don't know. Oh, she, we are not going to places we don't know. <laughs> but we're gonna know ISIS. No, don't go. Just stay. She's now in Dubai. <laughs> That's a thing, man, you know. Like a chipuga. It's not easy. It's not easy, chiri chiri ka. But me, I like girls. But I like the big ones. Yes. Yeah. I like the big nonas. I do. Me, I like the kind of girl that when we walk down the street, we look like a number 10. I'm the one, she's a zero. Baby Wanje. I like big girls. But the only thing is that sometimes big girls are a bit too adventurous, man. You know, they become too confident, too relaxed. You'll be like, hey, no. What do you like? You know, she's like, no. Me, I like to be lifted. <laughs> lifted by who, sister? Oh, yeah, leave. Hey, let's, let us not... Let's not overdo things here. Let us just... Let, let's keep it here. No. But girls want things like that now. I don't, not like that, but they want... You know, I think it's after that uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. Girls want to, guys to be more, just more adventurous. But sometimes the ladies, look, you know your guy. You know the guy is from Hong Kong, Of course he's going to freak out with some of your suggestions. He's going to be, oh, 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 sister, the pull off a penny. Lick you, where? Ahawa, ahawa, ahawa. I mean, tell him, Bisha. <laughs> Never. No. You guys must stop. You must stop these things of forcing the guys to do things. It's unnatural. <laughs> no, man. But I like... I like... Uh... That's cool, man. Hey, what's up, man? Are you having a good time? Gee, are you, are you good? Hey, do me a favor, just blink sometimes, man. It's freaking me out. <laughs> oh, oh, blink a little bit. What are the eyes? It's cool. No, no, but, but yeah, big girls are cool. It, it's not like I have anything wrong with like, the small ones. The small ones are also okay. It's just that me, I'm a bit of a tall guy, and sometimes I have a problem with like, a small and skinny variety. Yeah, because you'll be in bed, and then she gets lost behind the continental pillow. No, baby, only Peña. No, no, I'm here. Where, sister? I have to get my glasses, make a few missed calls, like, how do you penny? 
No, Rahu, okay. Yeah, yeah, I had to see him in the short ones. It's, it's complicated. He want to see you. But I don't know, people come to me like on Facebook, I'm asking for relationship advice. I have no idea why. Like, I really don't. No, but I do have got some things. Like, okay. It's true. Here, Momenduka, Here, but sometimes I blame the guys, eh? Because the problem with the guys is that we are too busy chasing the money, man. We're just out every day, you're on meetings and what, what. You know, you don't... You see, girls, eh? girls are like flowers. You know, they need food, water, and a lot of attention. Yeah, they need attention. And you guys must water those flowers, because if you don't water the flowers, eh? there's just a bunch of guys in Bintu singing, singing that... We are going to water your flower. <laughs> we will water the flower. The guys, it's not her fault. Just imagine. No, no, people, oh no, people need a bit of electricity, man. Kachona man. It's not, it's just imagine if it's your house without electricity for a week. What is she going to do? She's going to go look for like a small backup generator at Polytech. Okay, Jensen, you know the Polytech boys, the engine is small, but it's supercharged. Everything changes when you're like, Mm-mm, this is not the same. No. no. You must water the flowers, man. Otherwise, those, they are ninjas in Bintu, they will water it for you, Baba. Mercilessly. Any white people, we always like to see some white people. Hey, what's up? Just one. Da. That's what happens when you put Ankwa Tobol on the poster. What is, what does it, Ankwa? But I think it's important to have, I think white people are important. It's important to have white people in your lives. It is. Shashi, it's only white people who know when you go camping. It's only white people who know what kind of snake that beat you. How <laughs> A white person who know how to do. You know what happens if you get bitten by a snake with bamboos around? It's over, you are dead, my man. Do not, do, do not. I said, no, dude, I'm still okay. I said, yeah, don't move. Just, just let it happen. It's too late. There's nothing we can do. Don't move. Just, just, just relax. Just relax your body. But a white person, white person is a strategy man. The white person like put apply pressure, put like a little bandaid on the thing. You guys will be in the car. You'll be like talking to you. We'll also be talking to the snake because the snake is also shocked at your presence because the snake was also just minding its own business in its natural habitat so it also needs to be calmed down it's also anxious so it's not like no no it's gonna be cool this we're not gonna kill you my man is fine when you guys arrive at the hospital the guy is like no no we use that venom we the guys know these things basically we, you need them around they're important i get invited like uh, one of my favorite places of all time zambezi region and i go there a lot like with white people any zambezians no it's only me mm. All right, no, I like Zambezi region. But the thing about Zambezi region is that it's a bit freaky in the sense like it's too green there, man. It's like you're inside a lettuce or something. <laughs> no, seriously, and it'll freak you out if it's your first time in Zambezi because, you know, the dogs are bigger than the cows. <laughs> so it's a bit weird. Zambezi region has like three national parks, right? Three national parks. None of them have fences yeah. at all. There's, not, there's no fence anywhere. So I was like in like a village once in a national park and I was like, yo, my brother, how does it feel to be in a national park? And he's like, no, no, my brother, we are not in a national park. I'm like, dude, I have a GPS, man. He says, yeah, my middle national park, you are right here. He says, no, this area is not the national park. I said, okay, so where does the national park begin and your village, you know, start? Like, what's the difference? He says, my brother, you see that elephant over there? From that elephant, that way. I'm like, also, what happens if the elephant moves? No, no, if the elephant, let say it moves this side, then it's from the elephant, that way. I'm like, okay, all right, all right, all right. No, but I like the Zambezi region, man. I love it. I, I go there a lot, but I don't like camping. I'm not really, camping is not for me. I just think camping is a bit, oof, I hear. No, no, like, I think, listen, I think my, my ancestors have done enough camping. There's really no, me, I'm sleeping in a chalet, thank you very much. Because me, I've been blessed, like, you know, with all the abilities to possibly live and thrive in the jungle, except the desire to do so. So... Me, I'm sleeping in a chalet or a lodge, thank you very much. But when you come into the lodge in Zambezi region, it's standard. It's the same in every lodge. They got like a system there. In every lodge, right next to the bed, there's like a cupboard. In the cupboard, there's a Bible. Next to the insect repellent, next to the packet of condoms. Because in Zambezi, you choose your protection. You have to choose your protection in Zambezi. You don't just go in there, you choose. Because I remember I came there one time. 
The thing is that Zambezi, the, the number one thing that you have to understand, firstly, the mosquitoes are huge. Yeah, the only reason they have burglar bars in Katima is not for the people, it's for the mosquitoes to keep them out. Last time I saw three of them crossing the road. They are this size, size of small ostriches. They are huge. So whenever I was like, when you're in there, <laughs> I, I went there once, right? So I come into the room. I already understood the story. I see my bed. I'm like, okay, cool. Here we go. It's rain, you know, it's a bit. The mosquitoes are there. We are there. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I could hear them praying already in the background. I said, no, thank you, God, for the food that you're about to receive. I knew what to do. I went straight for the draw. Put on the insect repellent. I can hear them talking. I said, no, put it, my brother. Put it. One mosquito says to the other, no, look, he's putting on the Tabasco sauce. I'm like, okay, okay, I know how this goes. Because it's, it's like that. You have to choose your protection. I went and I slept under the bed that day. It was not, it's not. The insect repellent for the mosquitoes, the Bible for the alleged witchcraft. And the condoms from the Zambian ladies who come knock on your door. Business. That actually happens. If somebody knocks on your door and says, business. But witchcraft, apparently. I don't know, man. Maybe I do. Let's see. The thing is that uh, witchcraft, back in the days, was simple. Simple. Witchcraft was simple. You remember Moshe Pandeka when they used to have like Ununa Tau Pondwa? Dramatic. Okaku. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Recently. But the thing about witchcraft, the modern witchcraft, they have like, they send like a ghost to your room. Those things. But now the ghosts are not just about pondering you. They actually, they strangling you while whispering into your ear. What is the password to the Wi-Fi? You wake up, your data is finished. And they are sending SMSs to the MTC now. Which are, no, my data, my data. It's the witchcraft. Look in your friends. Somebody. Ah, uh, no, no. But yeah, as I was saying, I go to, to the basic region a lot. Usually on some kind of business trip. I always get invited by white people. And white people are like, interesting, you know. They always send you like this car. Do you have any dietary requirements? You know, like a list of, you know, preferences. I'm like, yes, yes, man. Yeah, I'm from Moshakati, bro. We eat everything. You know, it's actually, you know, do you eat pork? Man, if you grew up eating mapani worms, no mafuma, really, a pork chop can't hurt you. It's too strong. Can't hurt you. I don't care. Yeah, I tick all the boxes, not everything. Truck. I get there, and then the guys want to go fishing, and I'm not really into fishing. They're not over oh, fishing, maybe, man, not the way white people do it. Fishing for white people. It's like you're on the boat the whole day, and then you come and take the fish out, take a picture, you wait, and then you put it back. I'm like, oh. I'm like, I can't be seen doing that. My ancestors will be shocked. They'll probably be calling each other and say, Look at him. Can't put the fish back. Why? What are we going to eat for dinner? No, no. But they always ask those questions that you know, like when you're coming, you know, there was one weird question on the, the thing. Like, uh, will any family members be accompanying you? I'm like, ooh, family members. Do you know? How big my family is. You can't, you know, when I already hear about your family members, I'm already imagining at least three quantums, no Kataki Botswana. A convoy. We are going, colleagues. Tashi, you have to understand, Tango, you have like that ka, ka, ka quantum, just, you know, just for the uncles and the aunts. Then you have that one of the cousins. Then you have the other one of those, that ka cousins. There's always one ka cousin that you guys don't really know how you are related. You know, there, there's always that ka, one kid in the family who was donated at your parents' wedding. But my parents do this stuff, like they come to a wedding, haha, uh -huh, everybody's having a good time. Then they put like a kid, Mochimbare. The poor kid, he was just on a channel, he caution, we are going to a wedding. Now the guy has been given away to a new family. That's why is that guy. No, man. No, 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 no. Bamboo parents. Yeah, my dad and them, they'll be. Yo, guys, are you guys still all right, man? I mean, I'm thirsty, man. Kachona, man. Should have like beer on stage, that would be so awesome. Ah, yeah. No, check out. I don't know, in my last show, I spoke about my mom. Unfortunately, I never usually get like enough time to talk about, you know, the stuff I want to talk about, like on my free of mind show. We only have like 20 minutes or so. So I'm going to talk about my dad. My dad, ah, uh, is like most bamboo toppies. He's serious. <laughs> Not playing around that guy, he's a serious guy. You know, you know, African fathers of bamboo topics cannot be described as people who hug their kids a lot. Like, you know, you don't have like your dad come and say, I love you, son. Every morning, every, every time I've seen my dad, I just got work. Every time I've 
every time I saw my dad, I spent most of my, my childhood, you know, lifting things from the baki, out of the baki, in the baki, every time. And there's one thing in a bamboo household that I don't know why, but bamboo topics, or maybe just parents in general, have this weird thing that they are totally against taking naps. Okay, nap, you know, At the house, a nap was not allowed. You were just sleeping, sleeping. Somehow sleeping in Bambu, like Moshuambo, sleeping during the day, ne, is somehow related to being sick. You are sleeping, uh, it's something wrong. You can't be sleeping. Go move that. You can't be sleeping. Uh. So my whole life when I was small, that's like always, there's no sleeping. You know, your parents, like your dad calls you. You're like, uh, you're ready, you know, you're trying to sleep. Open Duka, now you start moving things around. That, that. Trying to move things around now, because the next question is usually like, "Iraka, that eh? What was that? I, I'm cleaning my room. There's no naps. You can't take a nap, which is like very awkward for me because through a series of very interesting coincidences, ching session. Through a series of very interesting coincidences, right? I ended up at the German private school where naps were not only allowed, they were encouraged. I was like, no, 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 no. So we can just take a nap. Because the first time it happened to me, we were like, I know, guys. The teacher came in. I saw Loite Herma too. Everybody grab a pillow. Uh, it's time for your nap. I was like shocked when I had to ask my boy Lamek. I was like, Auntie Lamek, what are these nap things? Huh? And Lamek was like, no, no, listen. Huh? No, no, a nap, huh? basically, after you've eaten, huh? you need to sleep so that the food can settle. Auntie, oh, does my dad know about these things? Somebody must tell my father now, no, because I, I went back home now, no, Tate, no. The teacher said now, we must sleep. We cannot just be, we need time to grow. Tate, we cannot just be working the whole day. Man, I nearly got pulled out of school, man, because my dad said, you just go to school to sleep. I said, I'm going to go to school. I was like, no, no. Oh, that school taught me a lot of things, man, that I tried to reintroduce to my family. I, I learned like a lot of stuff. The nap thing never took off, but I learned the concept of dessert. It blew my mind, man. Or dessert. I came back home and I said, me, listen, instead of forcing Unona Kuria, why don't you offer them a small treat after the meal? They'll be more encouraged to get to the meal. It was fine. We did some things, you know, but then no problem anymore with your mochiri. Which bamboo foods can be considered dessert? Embe. Nondunga, maybe. So we're really out of options, really, as to what to eat afterwards. So I became creative, man. I came up with some very interesting stuff, man. You know, I got my pani worms wrapped in bacon mm, to change your life. The dessert thing also never kicked off because it encouraged napping, which was not allowed. So there was. <laughs> I go about you, I No, no. I know we suffered. It was suck, man. Thanks for the money. Ah, no, 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 the north, ah, it's crazy, man. We are all from the north, man, like most of you guys are from the north. Like, are you guys from Oshakati? Anybody from Oshakati? It's like a few, Ongwe Diva, Ununatukwata Diva. Ongwe Diva boys, crazy as hell. No, I'm from Oshakati, originally, I'm like from Oshakati. And um, <laughs> the thing about Oshakati, man, like, in every Oshakati house, actually, probably every house in Oshakati and Ongwe Diva, no, there's no nice houses in Oshakati. There's Chinese and Chwambos, the Kamisha of the Ka Chinese and the Kavambu babies. Like, we are not going to get into them. As I was saying, huh? in Oshakati, in every house in Oshakati, in Ongwediva, there's like that ka, the ka food processor that was never used, as seen on TV, part of your mom's things. You know, my mom has like a bunch of plates that were never used. I know they're just there in storage waiting for a special occasion. What is a special occasion, baby? I'm figuring it's either my wedding or my funeral. But every Bambu household is like those things. You remember the time when they used to have those cars? As a kid, man, first of all, I never sat on the sofa until I was maybe like 15. You come into the sitting room, you assume your position, only pay a mate in front of the TV. We never sat on, on, on the sofa at all. Which was ironic, because on the sofa it was written, huh? have a seat, feel at home. I never felt at home. Never. No, you never sat on those things. The first time I sat, the first time I sat on those chairs, I was nervous as hell because it was at like somebody else's house. 
You know, I just we came to visit, and me already oh, look at that baby, you know, no, no. Have a seat, feel at home. And they look at you, you know, Shashi, that, that, that okalapi, they iron those things. It's crazy. Now, even when you are sitting, you're like, you, even when you move, you have to leave it either in the same condition or better. So now you're just there, uncomfortable, like, man, can't I just sit on the floor? I don't know, should I be here? But that's the thing about Babu parents, huh? They like decorating things that don't really need decorating. The chairs are all pimped out. My goodness, the toilet, the, oh. You walk into the toilet, it looks like the toilet is about to have a wedding. Shandy is pimped out. It's all white everywhere. You walk in there like, Tah! like, how, ah, where do I? I don't know, you know, they even have like, like an outfit for the toilet paper roll. It's in there. Now you wonder like, do they come in sizes? Like when it's too small, you have a smaller one. You walk in there, you know, they got a brush to clean the toilet. It's got a better outfit than you. Nah, 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 you know, but I've learned, ne, especially because those, it's usually women who do that, it's our mothers and stuff. Me, I've learned ne, that life is fun and even enjoyable if you don't ask women a lot of stupid questions. Yes. And what is a stupid question? A stupid question is any question that has a why in it. Yeah. Now, child, no, meme, why are there too many pillows on the bed? Now, child, why do I have to go with you at your friend's birthday party? Why are we here, Mimi? Why are we just... No, if you ask those... The thing is that women get frustrated because she's also not clear on the answer. But you see, it's part of God's plan. And if she struggles because she's trying to explain a very divine plan to such an ignorant and simple person like yourself. So she gets angry. So just keep quiet. and like, mm, I'll just sit here. I'll try not to move too much. No, so I, I, I'm from the north. And um, I recently started flying to the north. Thanks to free your mind <laughs> and some basic cash loans. <laughs> they have a new airport, man. You guys have to see it. You have to come and check it out. Whoa. Are you all right, chief? <laughs> That's too much, guy. <laughs> Thanks for the enthusiasm. It's nice. Ndangwa Airport, right. So I started flying. And the cool thing about flying is like how cool the pilot is, man. The guy is chill. Whenever there's a problem, the guy comes on and is like, yeah, um, we're experiencing some mechanical problems, ladies and gentlemen, but uh, sit down, relax. I uh, will get you to your destination as quickly, but more importantly, as safely as possible. I'm like, yes, man. <laughs> yeah. Because pilot. Because before, before I started flying, I used to take the guy Vecos at Monte Cristo. Monte Cristo is a mess. <laughs> nah, man. Monte Cristo. Oh, my goodness, man. No, 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 no. You know, you know your girlfriend is willing to go stand in the cold and wait for three songs, she won't wait for you at Monte Cristo. There's no time. Monte Cristo is too rough, man. So I used to take like, a bus there. And it's so worse. Like at, the, at, the, at Monte Cristo, the bus that's in the worst shape is always the one that's ready to go. The thing is practically falling apart. No, but three, three, two, top of the woman. Not this one. Why is not that one going? And those things, you know, I don't know, maybe they've improved, but back in the days, oh my goodness, man. Stuff was in terrible condition, it's rusting, it's falling apart, it's basically just being held together by spit and prayer. And it's always either going too fast or too slow. I remember one time, and just mechanical problems, just outside drug butter. You know, first we were going too slow, and I could see we were going too slow, because it was, it was too slow, man. I think we were doing something maybe three times the speed of smell. I look outside, there's like a butterfly, I'm like, oh, chumati. Are we? And then the guy cranked it up. But the problem man, eh, with the guys on the bus as opposed to the airplane, the difference is that uh, the bus driver does not care, Chiria. About your safety. Because uh, even about your comfort, the guy is suddenly going to go there and teach me. Okay, I'm going to go everything, you know. Yeah, I'm going to go to the you think? If there's so much smoke, do you think we are going to make it to Ochoarongo? I'm like, I don't want to hear that. I don't feel safe. No ways, man. That's why I wish that. I wish like the like, bus drivers were a bit like the pilots. Can you imagine, like, when you come from Oshakati, the guy comes on. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Nambango Express number five. <laughs> My name is Johannes Petami, and I'll be your driver this afternoon. The sliding door operator is Cowboy. The temperature outside is uh, 25 degrees. 
Inside is 37. <laughs> we'll be departing shortly from uh, Oshakati, passing through Ongwediva, through Ondangwa, before we reach our maximum speed of 120 kilometers per hour. Atom Thea will be stopping where you guys can feel free to disembark, buy some mystery meat at Tom Thea. <laughs> Before we get on to our journey, our arrival time is sometime tomorrow, we really don't know. <laughs> but we'll arrive, uh, sit down, relax, enjoy the ride. Yeah! yeah! That is what I want, none of these things. I don't know, yeah. No, man. those buses were rough, man. And I was like, and I, and I was like, so it was so, you know, as a student, or no, you are poor, you just, you only have enough money for the ticket to go onto the bus. You have no food, and I don't know what it is with bamboos and is as soon as you put a bamboo into a bus, what do they do? Russian chips and chicken. I don't know why you are so hungry. As soon as you put a bamboo, or Russian nanja, chicken, and two liter coke. Like, where are you going, meme? I remember sitting next to this lady, the, the lady had like a full chicken, bra, no Russian nanja, just even a, a little bit, but no chicken, ah, chicken. And she just finished, just... Mm. I, I remember one time also I drove on like a bus and I, you know, I was feeling a bit cool, man. I decided I'm going to buy some drinks, some like a six pack there, Monte Cristo. On the way, immediately, that's a problem now with drinking beer. As soon as you're on the road, what happens? You want to go pee. Man, man, man. And the like bus driver, that's his moment now when you want to go pee. He's not, he's not stopping. I'm like, no, Auntie Tate, can you please? I <laughs> Toilet, man, we are late. Or at the new beer, I We are late. I th- and I was like, no, stop the bus. I was like, a Kwanyama lady right next to me. Tell this guy to stop this. Hey, no, stop. I, I, okay, I, I almost whipped it out. I stopped. I was like, yeah, I'm going to pee on everyone. I need to stop now. If you don't stop, stop the bus. And then the girl lady was like, oh, yeah, yeah, woo, woo. I, no, no. Driver, driver, Prakena, stop a cabeza. And what happens after you struggle the whole time to get the bus stop? Everybody apparently wants us to go pee. Me, I was like, no, no, it's a Muslim, I'm going to pee on all of you. Stay at any man, any man. No, you guys are just quiet here and I'm sweating my bed, I'm going to pee here. No ways, man. But, it, but it's the most awkward thing, though, like peeing. Like after the bus, it goes like all the guys must go like towards the bush and you have to be careful. You don't want to go too far. Because then you might finish too soon and you walk back and it's just upi pika pesha. You also don't want to be falling behind because when they come back, it's just. So I went there and pararonja bare la la chano no guy. La chano move, okay. Three more line now. Everybody. Then you check everybody's done, then you walk back. It gets weird, man. Ah, yeah, yeah. I the north, the north, the north, the north. Hi. A married couple, how are you guys doing? It's nice. It's awesome. We travel a lot to the north, which is awesome. But the thing is that uh, the north, when you come like home for the holidays and whatnot, not everybody is happy to see you. What? I'm bad. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 wait. All right. I touched something there. You have a story you want to tell. Post it on Facebook. Bro. No. Not everybody is happy to see you. You know, when you come home, your parents maybe and, you know, your family and stuff, they are happy to see you. But, you know, the animals in the house, they are freaking out, man. And Jishwa Nikombo, oh, my God. Because every time bamboos gather, some poor animal dies. So everybody's nervous there. I told Jusha, oh my goodness, he's here. Hide, hide, hide. I never liked it as a kid, you know, when. <laughs> as a kid, I never liked, you know, it's like mealtime at home. You guys are about to eat. Everything is full. You guys are on Joshua. It's a nice day. You're about to eat. And then suddenly, like, guests show up. Like, just at that time. Now, the problem, huh? The parents always say, no, no, it's okay. Uno now go machine. The kids can just eat their pop with like. Atiro machine, like we're just gonna eat. No! 
because I caught the chicken. It was me who was running the whole day. I cannot eat omashini. I caught the chicken. But you have no right to bring a shark omashini. Eat, and then everybody enjoys the chicken. But I grew up at a time, man, catching the chicken was a mission, man. Do you guys remember that? Getting the, because I grew up in a time, huh, when we had the Ovambo chicken. Do you guys know the Ovambo chicken? Google it. There is a chicken called Ovambo chicken. The Ovambo chicken, huh, is the great, great, great grandfather of the marathon chicken that we, uh, that we enjoy today. It was tough. That cat chicken was a beast. That thing was better, like a mixture, a cross between a chicken and a dragon. It had like horns here. This thing could fly. This thing used to hunt small lizards. But your mom just says, and I'm like, oh. And this thing is a beast, Baba. Those Kavambu chickens were so tough, even the dog knew what was up. Okambu can, you know, saw the chicken. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Don't want trouble. The chicken was messed up. But your mom with confidence say, With so much confidence, she's already, the water is already boiling. And I'm like, oof, man, man. I remember a time when my mom was like, yeah, no, Patenya Kondobro, that one. I was like, oof. I know, maybe I got this. Okay, now the thing is that as a kid, huh, because of my visual impediment, another English word, was. <laughs> Hola. Hey, Takuma man. Yeah, so because of my visual impediment, right, I couldn't see very well and my hand eye coordination was lacking, but I was hardcore on the strategy. Yeah. Because a condobron dino chiri, this rooster, I've seen him for a very long time. And I remember last year. <laughs> so I was very happy when my mom said, Nakucha, we are catching that rooster today. I was like, no, no, I, ordered, I got the guys from the village. That's how we're going to get this guy. Because listen, as a chicken in the north, ne, your whole mission, your whole mission in life is just to survive lunchtime and dinner time. Yeah. yeah. But 11, I'm going to you must be out of the house. Because then you don't have fridges, it has to be fresh. So that's your only mission, survive lunchtime and dinner time. I don't know if you guys know how your home, Bumbleland homestead is set up. You have a homestead there, then you have a field, and beyond that is like a small forest. So the mission for the chicken huh, during a chase is to get over the homestead, through the field, into like a small forest. Because once it's there, it's gone. You can't catch it in there. So we would, time was limited, time was not on our side when we got the instruction, which I know, go get the chicken. It was not on our side. Like, I'm here at the plane. I got my boys together. I said, no, we're going to catch him. We had to go look for the rooster. He's a big guy now, the big rooster. We found him, Komashisha, there behind the grain storage area. It was a very stressful moment. We stood there. It was intense. We chilled out, looked at each other. Ha. I saw him, and the guy knew. He knew what was up. The guy was there amongst the hens, such a cocky bastard. <laughs> so he knew. So first time, okay, decoy, sent the chickens running. The hens were up to us. Aye, we left those ones. We see you, Baba. <laughs> so there we were with my boys. And we we're going to, the, the chase was inspired by Shaka Zulu. We we're going to go in with the cacao, the face. Nembinga did him at the back. And then together we get it like this. So we come like this, single file. Then we come, we corner it. We had it. But unfortunately, my little cousin Penda, who was not awake during the briefing, got too excited. <laughs> he got too excited before we were closing the second quite of one looker. I saw the Karusta Direka step to the side, a step to the other side of quite of Mombada. Penda was in the face. The rooster was over the homestead. It was too. Now everybody was like all in despair, but I had a contingency plan, man. I had my cousin Asino, man. He's the fastest kid in the village. Now I don't know, man, if you are. Noted as the fastest kid in the village. You are fast, Baba. Asino was outside, just the homestead. He even took off his clothes, you know, to reduce drag. <laughs> Aerodynamics, Baba. So when the chicken came out, the guy was on it, man. Oh, yo, I don't know if you guys have seen like, a young bamboo run. Oh. Actually, it was now the chicken and Asino. Asino versus the chicken. So firstly, the normal run starts normal, you know. It's in both the normal ooh, Olympic star or chicken eating it. But then the chicken decided to switch it up where it does that kind of thing where it's running and also flapping the wings. It's going too fast. That's where Asino changed the game also. He got lower. <laughs> Supersonic speed. Ochiro chicken. <laughs> that was moving fast, Baba. You could hardly see this guy's feet moving. It was like a small cloud. chicken. Obviously, the chicken had no chance. Man. That was too fast. 
I don't know, man. If, if you can imagine the scene of like, you know, those National Geographic shandies where the car, cheetah catches a gazelle, toss like that. Just... On Dina, the quarter. So through that whole effort to be told that the kids are going to eat the milk. No, no, no. We worked too hard, man. Oh, those, oh, the, the Ovambu chicken was tough, man. That thing, you just suffered the whole way. You suffered chasing it. It took too long to cook. When you are eating, it was too tough. It just fought you the whole way, bro. No, man. The Ovambu chicken is one of the main reasons that I only eat like lazy animals now. Yeah, I'm not wolf, man. mm mm I only eat lazy animals, things like sheep, chicken from KFC. I think lazy animals just taste better. The lazier the animal, the better it tastes. Just look how, how tasty is bacon. Bacon is awesome. I mean, what does a pig do? The pig just wakes up in the morning, rolls in the mud. Look how tasty that is. No, 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 no. I only eat lazy animals. Man. I have no time. I, but... The food is better, like in a way, especially the meat, isn't it? Like the beef is better. And it's, have you seen, like, it's better because our animals look better? Have you seen, like, a Brahman bull, colleagues? A Brahman bull looks like it wakes up and does a few sh- push ups just before it, you know, comes out, takes a shower, takes. The shiny just looks good. I do a little bit of farming on the side sometimes. So one time I got myself a, a new bull, a Brahman bull. This was, like, the laziest bull I've ever had, bro. It was just not doing the work, it was. You know, this bull just kept on falling in love. It kept on just trying to court the cows. Come on, it's just like a one cow bull. <laughs> Three months, nothing is happening on Kwai Tanguna. He's just in love, constantly falling into the friend zone. Ah, <laughs> Peshike. The guy is just not doing anything. We just see him with a cow in the field trying to show the cows where the best grass is. We had to get rid of that guy, man. Go myself a bones mara. Oh my goodness, that guy works night and day. Usiku, you can see now that this guy is busy. After a short while, everybody, all the cows were pregnant and I was happy. It was good stuff. Lazy animals just taste better. I really do. Um, yo, it's taking a while, man. Maybe I should just like go do a break, then I come back. No, I'm kidding. No, no, no. So, a lot of people don't know this, but um, I'm actually like a professional electrical engineer. Yeah. I am. I know I like girls like that stuff, you know. No, girls like to hear I am. They don't want to hear I want to become. I wish I was. One day when I'm older, I'm going to go to study. No, they want to hear I am. I see you guys after part. Dino <laughs> Shako. Um, yeah, so I'm like an electrical engineer, which is fun. So we deal a lot with tenderpreneurs. And all these interesting guys. I don't know if you guys know the straight... Okay, this is now for you. The, are there any engineers in the house? Though? Yes, my people. Right. Now, if you ever want to build something, like a building, for example, right? You have the money, you want to build something, you, you need a team. Architect, engineers, then they plan everything. Then you need the guy who does the construction, right? The contractor. Now, the problem is that uh, you guys, when you rock up at the site, the engineers are usually like a funny bucky. It's like stuffy inside. Ochirine, the contractor, Mr. Man, rocks up in something sharp. Or chef, a remote shooter, wearing the equivalent of a flat on his wrist. And you ask him, oh, Auntie Chief, uh, where's the material? I didn't get paid. <laughs> didn't get paid? Huh? Don't, you, when we started the project, you came here in like a taxi, look at your car. Clearly, you are going to dance up That stuff is expensive. The contractors, oh my goodness. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, 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 ay. I have like a very, uh, one of my favorite jokes, which I've done before, should I do it? Jesus and the tender, you guys want to hear it? It's controversial. I should bring it on. Okay. So, there's been a lot of complaints back in the days, like not even back, like at the beginning of the year, actually right now, that somebody's daughter keeps on getting tenders, yeah, there's been a lot of complaints. No, this is nepotism. It's unfair. What I like to tell you guys right now, Nakucha, this is nothing. Not, this is nothing new. This is not something that just started now. If you go back, way back, back into history, Jesus' first job was given to him by his father. 
There was no tender board. God simply said, Nacha, Jesus, my son, through pass, fatom suo, was. There's no tender board, no. And Jesus was like so excited, he called up his store friends, Nacha, oh my goodness, oh, 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 oh. But there was no MMZ at that time. There was no. Jesus was born. I always felt like about that story. How did the guys who were there from the beginning, how did they feel about that story? You know, like the angel Gabriel. How did he feel about this situation? Because, you know, I bet he kept on coming back. Yeah, uh, excuse me, um, God, no pressure, nothing. No, I just want to say, but Jesus, Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, no, I'm not saying, but Jesus Christ. The guy does not have any work experience, no relevant qualification. No? This guy was not even born when the project started. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not complaining. No, no, do your thing, do your thing. Do your thing. In the meantime, Jesus is boiling, walking on water. <laughs> Turning water into wine. <laughs> Having a blast. You guys, you think the bill at the last supper? It was not paid. No. Jesus simply said, no, no, no. We don't pay bills here. Send it to my father upstairs. <laughs> no, I bet, I bet the angel Gabriel just kept on coming. Back, like, okay, no, listen. Um, God, just look at the guy. He's just chilling. He's not... He's not doing, he's just chilling. And I think Jesus really, you know, tried. It's just that the sins were too many, men. The sinners. I don't think he, he was not ready. It was, it was too much at once. So after a while, the guy just said, no, no, I'm just going to die for all your sins. It's cool. <laughs> and Jesus, and God, you know, tried to fix it, you know. He sent in the subcontractors, you know, which is the prophet Elizabeth. <laughs> uh, the prophets, the pastors. Everything was fine, huh? Until the Nigerians got involved, then whoa, 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 it's too chop, Baba. Flying intercontinental. No, but I really, I feel that Jesus really wants to come back. It's just that um, the lady that does the SNT is on leave. <laughs> Plus, you have not paid for the other trip that he came. So, I, you guys must just wait. It's, it's, it's. No, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. No, 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 man. Anybody from Rocky Crest in the house? Woo! Rocky Crest, fantastic. I feel sorry for people from Rocky Crest, man, because you know, you guys, your house is probably being robbed right now. <laughs> Every house in Rocky Crest has been broken into at least once. It's a rough in Rocky Crest. I remember a situation where, like, like a nice couple, like these guys here. <laughs> they came from one of our comedy shows, you know, they went home, it was awesome, they loved it, you know, they came home to their house. But Nani, when they're coming in now, there was a guy breaking in, stealing stuff. But the guy hid, you know, when the guys came in, the guy hid. Whoa. <laughs> Take it in any manga. Are you good? No, you guys went away for You missed out, man. I was talking about Rocky Crest. We'll talk later. All right, so... So the guy come home, comes home with his girl, right? After the show, it was great. Now, there was a guy who broke in earlier. But when the guy heard the noise, I didn't have time. He just couldn't get more scope. in the carpet. He's there. It's cool. Now the guy is there with his girl. You know, the show was awesome. He's like talking about, no. You know, he's cracking some of the jokes from the show. And then he said, and then they are laughing. Oh, you'll be taken from the carpet. <laughs> Cracked another one. <laughs> No, 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 wait, 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 the guy, no, 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 baby, stop, man. We are only two here, me, I'm hearing an extra laugh. No, 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 no. Correct another one. I'm going to look at more. He came out through the window, he's out. So, no, comedy saves lives, guys. When you come in, crack a few jokes while you enter the house, throw a few of them out there. But what is, like, listen, I'll give you guys some tips right now, like, when it comes to living in Rocky Crest. Because the guys always go for the flat screen TV, right? If you live in Rocky Crest and you're prone to robberies, just hide the remote. Yeah. A flat screen, no, like, who knows how to switch on a flat screen without the remote? Those guys will look for that remote, Baba. They will even come knock on your door, Auntie Chimati, yeah. <laughs> Where's the remote? No, just, just pass the remote, boss. You must go with the remote to even do that for sure, school singer. They will look for that remote. Hide the remote, man. Ah, no, man. Ah, but no, man. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Man. I'm very happy to see you guys. Yeah. Thank you, man. Oh. 
Yes, 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 yes. No, no, no. Thank you guys so much, man. You know, this show, this show goes out to like, uh, goes out to that guy in grade 12. You know, that, that, not grade 12, that guy in primary school, the bamboo guy, the query. Yeah. You see, a lot of people, you know, some people think I'm cool now, which was not always the case. I used to be the query in class. They used to call me Chigwebs. Chawe <laughs> Chigwebs. People think I'm cool now. I used to be the very in class. There's one in every class. There's always that guy from the north doesn't speak English very well. The mom does his haircuts. You know the way, you know, before every holiday when your mom comes and does everybody's haircut, everybody, all the kids, Iran, and she's got that big scissor and she just makes lines in your hair. I go to a private school, I come there, I look like a zebra. There's one of those guys in every class. Doesn't have nice clothes, doesn't speak English very well. You know the guy that when it's time for, for, for him to read the whole class, I said, no, no, no. The next guy's about to read. No, come, come. The teacher was like, no, Dangi, please read. And I'm like, and then he asked if I can put the sickest boxes into the, gara the garage. It's like, First of all, Dangi, it's a garage, and it's sex, and he asked. That's what I said, miss. <laughs> no! There's always that one guy. There's always that guy, that, that query guy. Doesn't speak English very well. The guy is like the personification of poverty. But he chows every test. Destroys every exam. Ladies and gentlemen, this show goes out to that homie. The unquotable guy in grade 5D. Goes out to that guy. Goes out to that guy. No, but ladies, thank you very much for coming out. I'm more than grateful. That's my time. Thank you very much. I love the show. I really, really think it's one of the best comedians this country I've seen. So I don't that usually see, I don't see, I don't do comedy shows, but Eleka like anytime. Hey, it was a great show. I love Eleka, like so it was a great show. Naturally, it was good. It was really good. Cool. Really like it, thank you. It was fine. But it, it was fine. It was fine. Fine or awesome? Awesome. Done did it. Um, it was intense, man. My first hour. Did you guys enjoy it? Was okay? Oh, no, that, oh, was, oh, that was awesome. My first hour in some. It, man. No, it was thank an hour. It was an hour. Bro, he just killed it. He thank killed you. It. I just one hour and eleven minutes. I just speed, guys. I just one hour and eleven minutes. One hour and eleven minutes. Oh, oh. My goodness, man. Yeah, thanks everybody for coming out. We done did it. We're probably gonna be doing another one next year. Thank you.